Sonny Elliott, the wondrous weatherman, has followed the Tigers since the 1930s. You followed the Tigers for more than 60 years, and uh, I know you go way back because you were born in the city of Detroit, and you still come to the games. You're up there all the time. You sit in the front row. I'm heckling you, and you watch with such interest. Give me some feeling you have for this ballpark that we're no longer going to have. Baseball in and of itself is, to me, a great game. It, it's, it's chess, it's checkers, it's, it's, it's the mind game that's played. It's a great game. And to sit at Tiger Stadium now and look at it, it's like it, it, the memory is always there. I first went to Tiger Stadium when it was called Navin Field. And out in the right field, they had no seats out there, just a giant green wall. And when I was a child, one of the things we used to do is skip school on a Friday or go down early on an early Saturday morning and the Tigers were playing, and we'd go to the Cherry Street entrance, and the, the usher there, the chief usher, would look and see who were the gang of kids that were out there they could use for ushers. You had to bring your own rag, and you would pick somebody, and we'd go in, and we'd, we'd be assigned a section, and we would be ushers for that day, at least for the first two innings. A couple of mornings, we would go out there early enough. Hank Greenberg would... would Pick some of the bigger kids to run out in left field. He'd hit some fungos out there too. It, it, it's marvelous, just marvelous. And the whole, the whole stadium to me is just one great big pleasant memory. And my mother loved baseball, and she didn't know a first base from <laughs> from from the. Uh, she didn't know anything about baseball except that Hank Greenberg was the first baseman. And I would say yes, he singled twice today and hit a triple. My mother would say. Did he hit a home run? <laughs> That's all she was interested in. And once when Ty Tyson was broadcasting the game, he said the pitcher, I, I forgot who it was, uh, one of the pitchers, either Tommy Bridges or Schoolboy Rowe, bent down and picked up the rosin bag. And my mother heard him say he picked up the rosin bag. She said, rosin bag, is there another Jewish fellow on the team? <laughs>